Mike got robbed in pressure cooker. Are we past the spoiler window? Because that's like, I that was my takeaway from the entire series for sure. I was enjoying myself in the series. I was saying this is a, a very fun time. And then a little uh, stop on episode three. <laughs> anyway, an event happened where I said, oh, that's what this show is about. Okay, I still had a good time watching the whole thing. But the, 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 the final arc of, of narrative in that show is not my favorite for sure. Like, my ass was like, Gina is like, so immediately I saw the eggs and I'm thinking, I'm going to do a refined huevos rancheros. Mike is like, I'm making a, a sous vide and bone broth braised branzino with a cauliflower and jicama puree and smoked broccolini. I'm like, who do you think should, should win the challenge? Chicken fingers and dip? Or, or Mike, man. Mike's doing incredible work in the kitchen. Nice. Probably the one that tastes the best. Bro, that's Mike, though. Also, I forgot that people are crazy about reality TV. I saw a thread online. On Reddit, I should say. About pressure cooker. And it said, uh, somebody posted... Man, I hate this person so much for their actions on the show. Her restaurant opens in Los Angeles soon, and I can't wait to review Bomb It with one-star reviews. These are this, the people that we share a planet with. I didn't like the, uh, the way someone behaved on a cooking reality television program. I'm going to destroy their business without even going there. Everyone in the thread trashed them. No, they had no comments. They were like deep in the replies, but still like. Ooh. It's crazy, man. Burp, burp, burp. Could you guys, could you guys hurry it up a little bit? No, it wasn't Gina. It was like, um, Caroline. I want to say it was Caroline. Caroline, all the guys would say her fries are fine. The comment was just, it's, it's crazy. People were like, um, I think she behaved badly on the show, and I think she was fake. I can't wait for her restaurant to open so I can destroy it. Holy cow. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Get a life. Dude, we're living! We did make the semifinals. That one goes out to the person who said he's tilted, he's not going to make this one. Okay, well, enjoy your points being redistributed to the Optimus. I got no problems with Caroline. I mean, it's a, it's a TV show. I got no... The person I dislike most on the show was definitely... Well, like... Listen. Not to be a hater, but I... You got a... Robbie, like he's a professional... Not Robbie, sorry. Brian... The guy's a professional cook. Every single cooking challenge, he messed up horribly. Like, what are you going to do? Like, I get that he's meant to be, like, a nice guy. I'm not saying he's not a nice guy. But every challenge, he's like, I got to redeem myself from my crab cakes. So I'm making panna cotta. And then it comes out looking like just goo. And then he somehow lives again. He's like, I got to redeem myself for the crab cakes and the panna cotta. I'm going to make, I forget what he makes. But it also, like, comes out bad. And you're like, brother, come on. It's a cooking show. It's like a 1.6 with backspin. Oh! And I did find... Uh, I mean, I found Gina's gameplay a little annoying, but she doesn't seem like a... I wouldn't say she seems like a bad person. I would say it seems like she got cast as a villain in a reality show, and then acted villainously. Of course, that's, I mean, it's the way, you, you always need a heal. Well, nothing changed. That's good for us.
My favorite nuts are these. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disagree, I suppose. Oh, the treachery. Everybody's trying to ligma me. Ooh. The punnery. Every single person is trying to sugma me. 